Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polish. In today's episode, we are going to be doing these not so spooky nails that were inspired by my little bear here. As you can see, he has an adorable little sweatsuit that I found for him and it is so charming, I decided to also do my nails to match. So I'm using my Monolone's Color Cube right here. I used this one in my last video as well, but it has so many colors and so many uses. Why wouldn't I make good do? Anyway, so I'm using this super dark teal, which I just love. I love teal. I love blue in all of its forms. Blue green, blue gray. Hit me with all of it. And that's what I think this one is. This one is like a dark blue gray teal. You know, it's just, mm, just kisses. So what I really love about this type of gel polish, and I said this in my last video, was that you use thinner coats. So you get a more even, less lumpy, less chunky gel look, which is just my favorite. Um, between each coat, I am curing for 30 seconds, and I'm going to be doing three coats. To make it opaque, I would have added a fourth coat, but I'm going to cover it with this magnetic gel polish here, which is just a clear one. It's supposed to make any creme polish appear to be a magnetic cat eye sort of thing. Um, this one is supposed to be super reflective, uh, very intense cat eye, or at least that's what it said in the video, or not the video, the uh, the ad and listing. But I don't know if it's if it's me, I think it might be me. I just don't know how to use magnetic polishes. I, I can never get it to go where I want and it's never as reflective as I'd like it to be. Like maybe I gotta be putting on more. Maybe I have to use my magnet a different way. Who knows, I'll figure it out soon. After you get the little edges where you want them, you do your cure and now I'm going to start the design. I'm using the white from the Color Cube palette and I'm going to be using a tiny little nail art brush and a silicone point to make the ghosts. I'm using the brushed to do the ghost body and I'll be using the silicone tip to do their eyes. Now the ghosts on the sweat outfit is, um, they're more rounded on the bottom, less flowy like I'm making them, but I always like that about little uh, sheet ghosts is when you see the fabric sort of wafting. So I wanted to give them a little flow a little bounce and then i realized they kind of look like little octopus little octopi uh but you know whatever <laughs> it is what it is haunt how you want to haunt it's fine really i'm just filling every area that i feel like needs a ghost on my nail with a tiny little ghost or even half a ghost depending on how close it is to the edge of my finger I'm going to do a second coat of the white over the lighter parts. I'm probably not going to put that in the video, but just note that if it looks sheerer, it's probably gonna get a little bit of a second coat. Also forgive my banging of the camera. I had a toddler walking around in here because my son walks now, yeah. And uh, he kept bumping my desk, which made the light move, but that's fine. On my ring finger, I am doing a larger ghost because honestly, after doing little tiny ghosts on all my other nails, I was like, oh, I just want to do one more ghost and then, and then stop. So <laughs> I decided to make the one of my ring finger slightly larger. Now we're going to be using the black from the palette and I'm using that little silicone pointer to just dot on some little black eyes. What I love about this silicone tip is that it's flexible and you can sort of drag it in a way that you can't quite do with a brush because that way you don't end up with brush streaks, you just end up with a nice smooth touch. So it made making the eyes super easy and fast. Now I'm going to use this Monolone's top coat and finish off this look. Make sure you cover your entire design. And usually I try not to streak them, the polish that much afterward, but sometimes you just don't get an even stroke. So you have to really sort of work it in. 
but now that it's cured, this is the final look. I've also added some cuticle oil so my nails don't look so dry. And I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to put my little boy in his outfit and walk around with my matching nails. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.